Service is under attack. What do we do? Schools under attack. What do we do? Services under attack. What do we do? And how about turn it around and let's hear it for democracy? This is what democracy looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's very, I'm very pleased to welcome to the stage Carmen Morales Mayoral. You may know Carmen, she is a caseworker for the State Department of Human Services. She works with seniors, people with disabilities, and she is a member of the board of directors of SEIU Local 503. And by the way, my friend Heather Conroy is here from SEIU 503. Joining Carmen is Margie Kingsley, who was a healthcare provider until a debilitating illness transformed her into a consumer. She is a passionate advocate for the services that have allowed her and others to stay in their homes with dignity and remain full-fledged members of the community. Please welcome Carmen and Margie. The sacrifices that we have made over the last years have been many. As many of my coworkers know that we have taken furlough days. Our pay has decreased, our benefits have been slashed, and when services of our seniors get cut, we get the blame. Our seniors or our children often are suffering the consequences of this budget crisis. It is time now to look for a better way, for a better solution that will work for all of us and for our communities. We want to be part of the state that gets, that gets the right. We want to be part of the solution in a state that takes care of our seniors and our children. You know, if I was your sister, your wife, your mother, would you want me living in a facility? No. You'd want me safe in my own home. If I were to lose my home care, I would lose my independence. I'd lose my privacy. I'd lose my dignity. It's shameful that anyone would want to take away what little I have in attempt to balance the budget. And I'm Heather Connery, Executive Director of SEIU Local 503. We're here today because we believe in a just society, a society where we take care of our seniors and people with disabilities, a society where we have our parks and our forests, a society where we maintain our roads, and the workers who provide those services are treated with dignity and respect and are given the resources to do those jobs. That's why we're here today to demand that we have a better future for Oregon, for ourselves, for our kids, and for all of us who do the work to make Oregon what it is. Thank you. Yeah.